Hello everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to install a free SSL certificate for your GoDaddy shared hosting website. So right now you can see this is my website bestwpguides.xyz and on the left side here you can see this not secure uh, thing. So it means that there is no SSL certificate installed and all the customer data customers submit to this website will not be secure so to make this so so installing ssl certificate is not just important for the seo it is also very important for your customers data that they submit to your website because without ssl certificate anyone can intercept the data in between and see all the data in plain text so with ssl certificate they will not be able to any middleman will not be able to intercept the data so now let's start how to do install the free SSL certificate. For this, we are going to use Cloudflare. And first thing you have to do is go to this website dash.cloudflare.com. I will put a link to this in the description. So go there and first sign up for it. So here's the sign up option. Again, just you will need only your email ad address and password. And it's very simple to create an account. You can see that's it you will get a verification email so just click on this and your cloudflare account will be activated after this you will have to log into your cloudflare account For example i already have an account so i'll click here and it will take me to the login page so here i will enter my email address and password and then click on remember me login so this is how simple it is to sign up for cloudflare and now we have to add our website here so right now you can see i already have an account and uh, if you do not have an account you will see an option to add a website here like this icon or on top here you will always have this option so just click here add site and it will ask you for the domain name so go to your website and from here you can copy a domain name and paste it here so just remove anything else just keep your domain name here. then click on add site so this is completely free uh, for e cloudflare has multiple plans it includes free and paid so here you can see is the pro business enterprise and in the end here in the bottom here you will see this free plan so for free assistance certificate we just need the free plan and it is good enough so just select this plan and then click on continue now if you can afford you can opt for the paid plan as well you know just try the free plan first and if you like the service you can even upgrade to the paid plans so cloudflare is just not for the ssl it is uh, it is also a cdn so it improve, it will improve your page loading time as well if you use it properly so right now we are using godaddy's name server so all the DNS records Cloudflare will automatically fetch and you won't have to do anything else. You don't have to manually add them. So just click on continue. So the third step is to change the name servers. So right now you can see um, we'll have to copy this name servers. So you can just click here to copy here. But first let's go to GoDaddy. So go to the GoDaddy website and log in here and from the top here go to my products okay so it will take you to this page and from here you can see all the products connected to your godaddy account including hosting email services domains everything so from here you will have to select the correct domain for which you want to install the free cloudflare ssl certificate so for me this is the domain bestwpguides.xyz so i will click on this three dots here go to manage dns and then scroll down you can see these are the records and cloudflare has automatically fetched it so from here uh, on the bottom you will see this option name servers so right now we are using the default name servers so i will change it so here click on enter my own name servers and now let's go to cloudflare website page copy this record here click to copy and then paste it here similarly copy the other record also and paste it 
So now just click on save. So you will see a notification like this and then tick here. Yes, I consent to update name server for the selected domains. So then click on continue. And the whole name server updating process usually take like 40 minutes to one hour. Even though some registrars will say it will take 24 to 48 hours just to be on the safe side. But usually it gets updated within one hour. Uh, so. so now let's go to Cloudflare website. And here, uh, after saving the changes, just click here, done, check, na check name servers. So here, uh, we will finish this later. Just click on finish later. So now you can see, uh, Cloudflare will periodically check for name server updates to initiate a name server check now. So now let's try to see if Cloudflare can detect the new name servers. As you can also see here, registrar can take up to 24 hours to process name server updates. You will receive an email when your site is active on Cloudflare. So you can see right now Cloudflare checked, tried to check the name server, but um, it was an it, but it couldn't detect the correct name servers that we want. So now it is uh, it will automatically keep checking, and you will get an email from Cloudflare once the process is complete. So now we will take a break and your website will keep working as usual. Just wait for the confirmation email that your name server have been updated. Then I will resume the video and show you the next steps. So after 10-15 minutes, I got this email from Cloudflare stating that my website has been added to Cloudflare free plan. And in the email, you can see it's congratulations, the website has been added and you can see the name server has been updated. So before this was our name server and currently this is the name server. So now what I will do is go back to Cloudflare and refresh the page to see if it is um, showing now. So let's just refresh the page. Now you can see here is a, the stigma, great news, Cloudflare is now putting your website. So this means the Cloudflare setup process is complete. Now let's go to Cloudflare and, and enable the SSL. Go to SSL here and here and take this option flexible. Okay. Now let's check our website if we can access it over the HTTPS. Okay, now right now you can see there's uh, this certificate error, connection error. And it is because the, even though Cloudflare is able to detect, but your PC is still using the old DNS record. So that will take some time to affect. So what you can do is try a different browser or use your mobile and see if you can load the HTTPS version. So what I will do is I will try to see if it loads in a different browser and show you. HTTPS and see if it loads right now. So now you can see uh, there is the non secure message is not there right anymore. So let's see the certificate and you can see connection is secure and the SSL certificate has been issued by Cloudflare. Okay, now to make this connection more secure, what we will do is change it to full strict. Okay, for this, we will use the Cloudflare certificate. This is the origin certificate that we can create from Cloudflare and install it on our cPanel server. So now I will show you how to do that. For this, um, just go to here, tap and go to GoDaddy website. From here, scroll down and go to my products. And let's go to the cPanel hosting. So I will go to manage. Basically, we I want to log into cPanel. I will click on here and log into the cPanel admin area. and scroll down here and search for the SSL settings. So here's the SSL settings. Let's click here. Um, and here what we will do is um, scroll down and then we will install the Cloudflare certificate. So first select the domain and now let's go to Cloudflare and click here create certificate. Just keep this option sticked at default and scroll down and here you can if you want you can change the certificate validity so let's say i will change it to one year and 
so you can if you want to have this website for long term you can keep use the maximum 15 years or short term depends on you okay so let's select two years and then click on next so cloudflare will automatically generate the certificate just copy it from here copy all the text exactly like this and and in the certificate uh, column here paste it and now go here and then similarly copy the private key and scroll down and paste it here okay then click on ok and now what you will do is click on install certificate okay so you can see you have successfully updated the SSL website certificate the SSL website is now ac accessible via HTTPS on this domain. So then click on OK. Now let's check the certificate details. So you can see it has been issued by Cloudflare and you can see the expiry date and everything. So if you want, you can also remove it later. So now let's go back to Cloudflare and make the connection better secure. So for this, we will go to overview. And here uh, we will change the flexible settings to full strict. So from this diagram, you can understand how it works. When we select the flexible, so it means the connection between the browser and Cloudflare server is secure. You can see the green, green icon here. But from Cloudflare to origin server, the connection is not secure and the data will be in plain text. So anyone in the middle here can intercept the data. So when we uh, select this option full strict or full, uh, there will be this uh, data between Cloudflare and origin server will also get encrypted. So we will enable the full strict. This is the best option and it will automatically get updated. So you can see here that your SSL TLS encryption mode is full strict. Okay. So it was changed few seconds ago. Now let's again go back to our website and see if we can still access it or there is an issue with the website so now you can see it's still secure the certificate is valid and there is absolutely no issue so now let's browse our website a bit more okay so now this is complete uh, the connection is fully encrypted now what you have to do is because some users will say that you know, their website is not working properly the SSL do not loads by default so for this we will use some plugin WordPress plugin so after logging into the WordPress dashboard area, go to plugins, add new. And here search for a plugin called really simple SSL. Just search for simple SSL. Okay, so this is the plugin we will use. Just click on install. There are other plugins also, but you can see this is the most used and I've used it before, so I can recommend this. Now just click here, go ahead and activate SSL. Okay. So it you will have to log in again. So right now, even though you can see that it shows that it is 50% activated, and there are some open issues that uh, but here you can see in the bottom right that 301 redirect is enabled and SSL is activated so I would recommend you to for now ignore this option and just see that if your website is loading by default on the HTTPS version if it's loading properly on HTTPS then you do not have to do anything and that's it if this do not works, then you, you may have to read other stuff, which is not usually the case and really you will have to do it. Just post in the comments and do let me know if you face any issue and I will try to help you. So that's it guys for this video. I hope you found it useful and you managed to get free SSL certificate for your website.